Hello, YouTubers. Do I have a treat for you today? Something I just recent, recently scrounged up from the transfer station. Um, but this is a, much to my surprise, first of all, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a lawn boy lawnmower. There's not a lot of, not a lot of identifying uh, material on it as far as horsepower and this and that and the other thing. Um, I was looking at it. I drove by it. I walked away, drove by it, walked away. I thought this was kind of the, uh, the, the safety lock for, for starting it, which oddly is quite far from here, but no, it's, it's actually to hold the, the, the grass catcher bag. Um, there is no, there is no bar or anything like that for, uh, for holding this thing to get it started. And the beauty of it is, is it's just, it's just an old timey, uh, on off switch here. Although on this particular example, on is off and off is on. Must have been rewired at some point. But that's it. Off, on, off, on. The other thing I noticed is that this thing only weighs like like 20 pounds wet. It's, it's very light. So uh, yeah, it's just got this pull start coming up the top here. And I gave it a cu couple of shots of, um, of instant start just to see if all the you know the mechanics were working and it was firing and it, and it did and it has a, a remarkable sound to it. I was like, this thing sounds sounds crazy. It sounds like a chainsaw. And unbeknownst to me, I finally looked a little bit closer and uh, I see this business about using a uh, a bit of a, a premix. And it dawned upon me that this is a two cycle lawnmower, which I find terribly exciting because um, I just just don't see them anymore. And going a little bit further here, we have uh, the model number. It's an R7268, which is rear bagger. Obviously, the bagger is missing from this. And uh, it's uh, from this serial number here. It's circa 1979. Looking at this a little bit further here, one of the uh, one of the curiosities of this thing, which actually kind of surprised me, I've, I've never seen such a thing before, is that the carburetor is all plastic. I kid you not, it's a, it's a plastic carb, everything. And uh, I find that kind of interesting. So we're gonna start this guy up. We'll, uh, it has this little fuel valve here. We'll open that up while I've got it open, just for the sake of continuity and no missteps. I think we'll get a little shot of this in here. Just a little, little instant start, uh, but it runs. It runs pretty good. I clean this up. Stick that in there. Hook that on. Hook that on there. Put this little clip here. And it's in the on position. Let's give it a shot. All right, here we go.
So there you have it, a vintage 1979. I love the off-centered, cantilevered wheel alignment. Looks like an old Blossom bomb <laughs> German fighter aircraft design from from the 30s or 40s with the with the, uh, the off-centered wheels here. But uh, there it is. Yeah, um, has a hard time shutting off. The stop switch doesn't work. I had to just kill the gas flow. But uh, hope you enjoyed seeing this bit of uh, vintage Americana. Cheers.